So I've tied uh, these um, capsize lines and I've just tied them to the shroud area here. There's actually a little uh, deep de shackle. Oh, okay, some migrating geese overhead. Um, and I'm just putting some knots in it so it gives you something to grab. Uh, let's come over here. Better. The wind's picking up a little bit actually, so just, just got to keep my eye on that sail. I just put the main sail up just to air it out. So let's just make sure they're nicely spaced. Put two knots in, so for my big bearish hands, and then one to finish it off at the bottom. And then the idea of these are I've got I got one this side and I've also got one the other side and what these will allow me to do is instead of having to use the rudder uh, or the centerboard sorry to to um, right the boat which actually on this boat they do warn you because it's wood it, it can split and I'm you know I'm not a small guy so I did notice when I was bringing it over before there's a lot of flex in it and also you can put some strain on the the, the dagger board um the dagger box i think that's called so you know this will help these will also give you a much better leverage so if it's also upside down you'll have something that can hopefully you can put wrap around and pull from the other side now there might not be long enough but there we go um so I've also put a stirrup in here so this is just I've literally just tied that around there um, and all this will do is if the boat goes upside down it's there and I can use that for my foot to get a really good purchase to get back on board if the boat's upright and I need to get it on board then it should be you know nice and easy to get let's come out and give you some perspective to get my foot on on so i can get back in um let's just see if i can yeah get my foot in yeah and then that will just tidy itself away behind the pintle there and i can actually tie that up again here maybe to stop it coming out so that's that so the last time I sailed and I was I was capsizing, I noticed um, there was some um, lasers down at the sailing club by the campsite, and they all had these little little bags, like waff dig away at the top of their masts. Um, and I've since found out that you can use um, a buoyancy aid for swimming, or you know you can get specific mast bags. And what these do is as your boat goes over and capsizes what mine was doing was it was going right over and turtling so the mast was right 180 degrees to where it should be what this bag of air should do is if we attach it to the top of the gaff there it should stop the mast from doing that now i don't know we're going to give it a test maybe at the end of sailing today but I did do quite a bit of capsizing on my first day sailing and the boat never turtled but the wind was quite it, it was quite windy I seem to remember a lot windier than today but not mega windy um, but when I sailed last time it was really windy like so I've since been told by members here that that was pretty pretty gutsy or stupid it's <laughs> somewhere in the middle for me probably so I don't want I basically don't want the boat to turtle I want it to just capsize so you know I can get a grip of it all and hopefully give myself the best chance of getting it back up if it's on its side I think I can maneuver it into the wind use the lines I've got here now to pull the boat back up um, you know either in the in irons so it's not going to flip the boat straight over the other thing I've been told is that you can get water in the sail as well which can make it quite hard 
to bring up so you need a lot of force to then bring the sail if the sails along here and you've got like a big pool of water in the sail I've been told that to bring the sail back over needs a hell of a lot of force and by the time you get it here because it's whizzing up it might it might go over so the other tip I've been uh, told on forums is that once you feel the boat just starting to right let go let it right um, and hopefully it won't flip over the other way although I've also been told that in really high winds and where there's a strong current there was a really strong current that day um, the uh, you know it's almost impossible to right the boat especially on your own so um, hopefully this bag will just make it a little bit easier and we'll see if we can test it out later today so here's the bag I've used I got it off Amazon uh, I can't remember how much it was but it, it certainly wasn't much it was 10 or 12 pounds um, it's actually a swimming bag so if you go wild swimming you can tie this around you and it, you just drag it behind you very much like you know Baywatch uh, uh, life life uh, savers um, but uh, they, they're primarily used to give you a little rest you can use them as buoyancy you know I, I, I could even cut it away from the or, or you know uh, the, the mirror if I can't get it righted and use it to swim away abandon the boat so um, and all you do I know you well I know you can get these like specific ones but I felt they were too big they were like 65 liters which is quite huge for my boat and also they're really expensive I think somewhere like 80 to 100 pounds so you know I like swimming anyway so um, I'll use the bag anyway and I thought I'd give this a go and we'll try and test the boat out with it so I've got to pump this up and then I'm going to attach it to the top of the gaff right up there and we'll see what that looks like That's the bag closed and pumped up. So I've blown the bag up. I've attached it to the top here, which is the only reasonable place I can see to really attach it. Um, I just have to be careful of these because these, I do like the bag here, but these are mm, they're sharp enough, you know, to puncture the bag. I might unscrew that and we'll see if we're going to attach it a bit better. But let's hoist it up and let's see what it looks like let's uh So that looks, kind of looks okay. Two things I'm concerned about are whether it would interfere with the sail at all, but I don't think it, I don't think it's going to interfere uh, enough to worry me. Uh, might shave off like 0.1 of a knot when we're this way. But the other thing is, is does it, um, we swing does it affect the operation of the sail at all the answer to that is I don't think so let's get it up this way well I think we'll see how we go whoops sorry about this I'll see how that goes and we'll see if it works I think it's the only thing we can do is just see if it works right I think we're ready to get out on the water and have a sail so we're going to do a last tour of my uh, anti or capsize kit to say so starting from the top we've got the airbag which hopefully will stop the mast turtling and keep the mast on the water 
Um, that remains to be seen, you know, in really strong winds and current, but it will give it a shouting chance. I've got no idea if that's got enough air in it or or what, but we'll see if that works um, and we'll test that out later. I've got my stirrup at the back, so if the boat is turtled, it'll be here. If the boat is upright, I can pull it through and that'll help me get onto the boat. And that will, I'm just gonna tie that up like there to keep, to keep it out of the way. Um, I've got my two capsize helper lines which I don't know if they're long enough. I was, I was wondering whether you, they should be long enough to go right under the boat so you can pull them from the other way. They, they might be just long enough. They go, they go basically, literally the width of the boat, but we'll see, we'll see how they work. I might have to redo those. I've got one each side. So hopefully these won't get in the way. This is quite a busy uh, sheet area with the uh, jib sheets get you know, flap around everywhere. So we'll see, we'll have to maybe tie those up. Um, and uh, I did actually have enough line left. It's only cheap rope, bought it from Amazon, nylon rope. It ties up really nicely actually. Uh, and this I'm just gonna use as a, um, I've actually been missing a mooring line. So I've got one at the front there, the white sheet or line should say over there. And I'll just clip this, probably clip this onto the, this, um, this bridle. Oop. Okay, like that. And then I've got a mooring line at the back here just to keep the boat honest. Um, and then the last piece of kit that I kind of now recommend, uh, especially on a day like that. Um, actually, I've been hit in the head quite a few times by the boom. Um, I mean, twice actually fairly badly. And then the, the last time I sailed in the, in the strong winds, um, I actually got hit. I got badly bruised actually. I should have sh taken photos, but the, the side of my leg was really badly bruised. One of my arms was bruised and I did hurt my bicep a little bit. And the boom did, or something hit me in the head. And the thought did occur to me that, you know, if you're on your own, with only, uh, because you know, dinghy, dinghy uh, sailors don't wear life jackets, we wear sort of buoyancy aids. So if you're knocked out, there's nothing to hold your head out the water and you could drown. Um, so you can get hard inserts for your caps, but I didn't have time to buy one of those. So this is my old snowboarding helmet. Um, and I'm gonna wear this. Uh, it, I've been looking online and it kind of looks like a sailing helmet um to be honest with you i think it's one of those things it's better to look stupid and be alive than look good uh and not be <laughs> so we're going to give this a go um see how it goes um it's nice and light it won't affect me if i fall in um and also it gives a really good spot for my camera so hopefully when this is all tied up it will give my camera on my head a much better fixed angle because when i was wearing the, the elastic strap with my cap um the angle was getting way off so some of my videos uh unfortunately weren't weren't so great due to that so anyway there's my capsize kit i think we'll rig the boat up and we'll go for a sail